Hello guys and welcome, today I'm going to show you how to create a real estate listing website using Shopify. First be sure to check the link in the description for a 3 days free trial of Shopify and also a $1 for 1 month one time deal. So without further ado let's get going. First we're going to go to the product section over here on the left and we're going to click on add product. Here we're going to start uh, uploading our product, for example I'm going to start with my beach house and here for the description we can go click over here and using the built-in AI of Shopify we're going to give it a prompt for example I'm going to choose a beach house and we're going to click on generate here uh, Shopify is going to uh, generate a description for us we can either choose to generate a description again or just give the one we already have here I'm going to click on keep and for media we're going to click on upload new and we're going to choose an image for our product right over here on the right we also have a product type we're going to put house for example we have our vendor, we have our vendor, our collections, here be sure to add uh, the product to your homepage collection and we can also add tags right over here. Here uh, for the pricing, for example, we are, we are going to charge uh, around 100,000 uh, pesos for this house and our cost per item is going to be around, maybe, let's say, 80,000 pesos. This is going to give us a 20,000 pesos profit at a 20% margin. Here for inventory, we are just going to uncheck this because we are not going to keep track of it. And for shipping, uh, we are also not going to do any kind of shipping, so we are not going to assign any kind of weight to our product. Once we are done, we are going to go over here and we are going to click on save. And if we go back, you can see that now we have uploaded our first product. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep uploading all of the products of our uh, of our online store. And once I'm done, I'll be back with you guys. As you can see, guys, I have already uploaded all of my products. I have added a tiny home, a suburban home, and a New York apartment. So next, we are going to go to our online store, and here we are going to start to customize it. The first thing that we're going to be able to change is going to be our theme. If we go down, you can see that Shopify is going to give us a lot of different free themes. And if we click over here on Visit the Theme Store, we are going to be redirected to the Shopify Theme Store where we are going to be able to shop for a lot of different themes. Some may better suit our website, but for me, I'm just going to stick with the default one for now. So. Next thing, we're going to go uh, back over here and we're going to click on Customize. As you can see right over here, we're going to have a lot of different sections. These are going to be outlined by a blue line and over here on the top left, the, the name of the section is going to appear. On the right, we're going to have a lot of different options and um, that we're going to use to customize our section. For example, here we have our image banner and in order to change the background image, we're going to select over here on first image and we're going to choose one of our images to be our banner. For example, I'm going to choose this one and uh, next I'm going to click here on our heading and we are going to change the text right here on the right. For example, I'm going to put welcome to my real estate listing website as you can see the text has now changed and let's say next that we want to add a new section to our website first we're going to go over here on the left to add section and we're going to choose from one of the options such as featured collection featured product collections list etc for me i'm going to choose a featured product and as you can see a new section has appeared right here at the bottom and uh, once we are going to we are going to click on it and here on the right we are going to select over here a product to be displayed for me i'm going to choose for example my beach house and as you can see my new product is going to be displayed right over here now let's say that we want to change things up a bit for example we're going to change our color scheme to a darker one and now my background is going to be a nice dark theme. Let's say now that we have added a new section by mistake, for example a featured collection and we want to delete this section. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here on the bottom right once we have selected this section 
and we are going to click on remove section that way uh, the section is going to be removed other things we can do is we can add sections to our footer we can add an email sign up and a custom liquid and also we can add a, a new section to our header right over here we have a custom liquid and an announcement bar if we go uh, right over here to our header we can see that here it says my store this thing right here is going to display our store's name and in order to change it we are going to save our changes up until now we are going to exit we are going to go to the home page of Shopify and then we are going to click on name your store we are going to click on name store again and here we are going to be able to change uh, our store name we are going to put for example real estate listing and we're going to save our changes this way uh, our store name would be changed but in order to make sure that uh, we have done everything correctly we're going to go to our online store uh, again and we're going to click over here on the three dots here we're going to click on preview and this is going to redirect us to our website now first we're going to see that right over here our store name has now changed and if we keep going down we can make sure that everything is set up just the way we want so once we are done checking up our website we're going to go back over here and we're going to go over the analytics and marketing section of Shopify here we're going to be able to see our total sales, our sales by channel, our total orders, the average order value and a lot of different things such as which products are going to be the most popular amongst our customers and a lot of different information which is going to be really helpful for us in order to maintain, uh, manage and customize our website and our business all from the same place. Lastly, I wanted to show you the discount section. Here we're going to click on add discount. We're going to choose an amount of products. And here we are going to be able to customize our own discount to either post on social media, maybe gift to a friend, um, or just use however we would like to. First, we're going to be able to select a code. We can just write one ourselves. For example, we're going to choose house 101. Or we can just click here and Shopify is going to generate a random code for us. Here we're going to choose which kind of discount it's going to be. For example, I'm going to choose a percentage amount of discount. And I'm going to choose, for example, a 5% discount. Here we are going to be able to choose which collections our discount is going to apply to. We're going to click on Browse. And here we're going to choose our homepage collection. As you can see now, this discount would be uh, would work for my homepage products. Next, if we keep going down, you can see that we have uh, further uh, options for, to customize our discount. For example, we have the minimum purchase requirements, the customer eligibility, the maximum amount of discount uses, the combinations it has, and if we click over here on set end date, we are going to be able to select an expiration date for our discount. So once we are done, we are going to click over here on save discount. And we would have our first discount ready. So guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to check the link in the description for a three days free trial of Shopify and also a one dollar for one month one time deal. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell and I'll see you guys next time.